I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled Adam. I have been asked some great questions about how God had created Adam and Eve. I hope you enjoy this very special Earth Class on Adam. Specific understanding, knowledge, and belief of this proven truth is the foundation of human life on altered earth, not over millions of years through evolution, but just a little over 6,000 years of mortal time in our measurement of duration. In the last few years of these earth classes, the light has been turned on every important subject like it's never been done before. It is written, In Him, Jesus Christ, in Him was life, and the life was the light of man. John 1, 4. I have written and taught the proven truth concerning how God used the pre-existing infinite supply of light particles that had always emitted from the subconscious sleep state of his brain that, by the way, is the same size of a man's brain, where all 12 unlimited abilities of his soul, as our soul, exist. God dreamt of having others like him to love and be loved by, causing him to awaken from his continual sleep state, never to sleep again. This began his creation process from the light particles that were produced from the sleep state of his brain, with each particle having the DNA code of his genetics with the first great hollow sphere he formed being Earth, his favorite place in the universe. He also formed many other great hollow spheres in space long, long ago. The basic law of cause and effect proves this as nothing produces nothing, and existing matter cannot be destroyed, only changed. This is why I use the words altered Earth for it has been changed from its original condition that was a perfect spirit state of beautiful, shining light particles joined together in glorious splendor of God's purpose and plan that did not include the negative effects of evil warfare that the only two angels that God ever created, Lucifer and his beautiful wife, Diana, began long, long ago when God gave his joyful announcement of creating a man on earth in his image and likeness. Long after Lucifer's creation and the many angel descendants he and Diana had produced, when God announced his intention of creating a man on earth, Lucifer took offense to God's announcement, thinking that honor should be given to him, for he and his descendants had served God joyfully in all the projects they had completed. God loves Lucifer and sought to appease him by giving him much time to repent. But Lucifer had convinced one-third of his descendants that God was unjust and even began a war of negative change to God's beautiful creations. Beginning in this galaxy and spreading out like an expanding dark bubble, in the beginning of this negative change to Earth, many light years had passed, which would be millions of mortal years on altered Earth, with Lucifer continuously trying to prove he could be like God instead of a servant to God. One being his attempt to create life on Earth. His attempt at this is what we would now call prehistoric beings that were more mechanical with no spirit and very limited and unpredictable abilities. With Lucifer's failed attempts to create true life on Earth, he focused all of his forces upon taking over the third heaven and dethroning God, whereupon he was easily defeated and brought to trial in heaven's supreme court, set up just for Lucifer and his descendants with God as the judge, whereupon they were legally pronounced guilty and sentenced to everlasting sealed confinement within Lucifer's original giant home that he turned into a burning star that is still the son of this solar system. But Lucifer legally appealed his conviction and sentence, blaming everything upon God and questioning the justice of God. 
Because of Lucifer's legal appeal, God chose to semi-restore the earth to an altered condition with a rapid spin and rotation around the sun with the moon rotating around the earth. God created the many spirit animal species and the spirit body of one man, Adam, from the refined, clean, special gold and silver elements of light particles on earth that still contained the DNA code of God's genetics. With the beautiful spirit body of the woman, Eve, formed from some of Adam's genetics and the special choice elements of the earth to please and complement Adam. The account of this is in the first chapter of the first book of the Bible record that Moses wrote about, and it leaves much to be desired. I love Moses, but he did not have the advantage and understanding of the progressive knowledge and truth that you and I have now. Ask yourself something. As the sons and daughters of Adam, this man created in the image of the Most High, is your light the life of Christ? Until